Okay, so we're doing the 2015 AP Computer Science question 3B. Uh, and this question, we're still dealing with dealing with the sparse array and it asks us to implement the remove column. So we have a sparse array. We're going to need to implement a method that removes a column from data array. Specifically, these three things have to be true in our implementation. All entries in the list entries with indexes matching columns so are removed from the list. So all the ones in that column is, are removed. So the column is removed, but also note uh, all entries in the list entries with column indexes greater than call are replaced by entries with column indexes that are decremented by one. So in this example, this four, this four, which is on column four, will have to move to column three. It will still be a four, of course, uh, but it will be on column three. And then the number of columns in the sparse array is adjusted to reflect the column removed. Now, you have to remember there was also these uh, other a variable called num calls. So we just have to update that. Uh, so it's easy to forget those three things if we don't check them. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, you know, remember uh, our implementation is a list. Uh, so this is the visualization, but our implementation is actually more like this. We have a list of sparse entries. So all we have to do is uh, uh, once again, we're going to have to go through the list and just remove things. So we're going to go through this list and uh, let's say in this case if they told us to remove column one as they just did I'm going to say is this guy column one? No. Okay, it's fine. Column one? Nope. Okay, it's fine. Column one? Yes, this guy's column one. Uh, so uh, I am going to delete him and this guy's also column one. So I'm going to delete him. Uh, also at the same time uh, it's not just is it column one but is the column bigger bigger than one? So when I get to the first one, I say, is this column one? No. Okay. Uh, well, what about, is it a column bigger than one? Yes, because four is bigger than one. So I'm going to have to change this to three. And, uh, and then I go to the next one. Is this column bigger than one? No. Well, equal to one? No. Greater, bigger than one? No. So we're fine. Then we keep going. Um, so that is how we're going to do this. Let's do this. Come back to our code here. Uh, I added, by the way, a little two string methods to uh, just help me uh, debug. And so you can see what's happening. So we have to implement a method which is called, um, what are we calling it? Uh, public void remove column in the call. Public void remove. And so we're going to have to go through entries, right? Entries is our sparse array, our list. So uh, we're going to do a for loop uh, sparse array entry uh, as we did before entry into entries, right? And then first, so we go through each entry and then if entry dot if the column equals column that means uh, uh, we have to remove that column so how do we remove the column uh, so you might want to do uh, so there's this uh, entries dot remove uh, like that so we can remove an object from a list using the remove method. However, uh, uh, this is wrong. This is not going to work. I'm just going to leave it like that. We're going to come back and fix it, and I'll show you how this is fixed. But it's sort of, you know, it, uh, it makes sense, right? Through there. Uh, so uh, if the column is equals, then we remove it. Otherwise, uh, if uh, we'll be checking to see if the column is greater than my column, uh, put a space there, I don't know how that happened. Uh, then what do we do? We have to change um, the column. Uh, and I know that I don't have a set column method. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that. So I have a get column method and I'm just gonna 
uh, generate a setter for the column. Uh, so I have a get column method and a set column method that just sets that. And uh, so entry that set column and the new column is going to be the old column. Get column minus one. And uh, so going back to our points here, uh, we have to uh, all entries with the column index matching column are removed, done then. All entries with gear then are replaced by ones where we decrement. And then oh, the number of columns in the sparse array is adjusted. Uh, <clears throat> so that one will have to wait till uh, the end, right? So at the end, uh, we can say the num columns are minus minus because we just deleted a column and so the total number is going to be smaller uh, again this is assuming in you know uh, they, they tell us that that we can assume uh, removes column so it assumes or it's a precondition that the column is between zero and the number of columns so we don't have to worry about the user giving us uh, a column number that is too big or negative or crazy stuff like that um, so, so then we can just uh, decrement that by one, remove column, I call this remove column in my testing. So let's test that, see what happens. So you see, I, I already added uh, the array from this example, right? This is a sparse array from the example. Uh, I print it out here, and so it prints out okay. Um, and then I remove column one and then I print it out again. You see the ones that were bigger got removed or changed. Um, but uh, column one, one, one is a column one and that one, uh, that one is still there. Uh, this one, row column one, well, I should say this one, Row three, column one is not is uh, was there and did get removed, but this other one didn't get removed. And uh, why is that? Well, uh, that's because, uh, as I said, this is wrong. We cannot do this. Uh, the rule is, and you just kind of need to know this rule. Uh, uh, so you cannot uh, remove or add. Uh, from a list while iterating over it, uh, at least not this way. So, you know, uh, here I'm iterating over entries, which is my list, and within that loop, with as I am iterating over that entries, I am trying to remove stuff from it. That is a bad idea, you should not do it like that. Uh, but it's, it's an easy fix. The way you fix this, I'm just going to comment this out. Uh, we're going to still have a for loop, but we're going to have an iterator. And we're going to call it iterator, and I'm going to call entries, entries, dot iterator. So I get an iterator object. I have to uh, import that, which is what I just did. And then the while part is while iterator dot has next. Put another semicolon there, and there's no no increment part. And uh, that's it. And then to get the actual entry, I have to do that sparse array entry entry equals iterator dot next. Um, And uh, it's complaining because I uh, I need to also typecast that, Oops, of course. Uh, and then finally, like I said, that is wrong. So the right way to do it is iterator dot remove. So once you get an iterator, now you can remove. So entries, but you can only remove the one entry, right? So, but I'm iterating. And the iterator, the actual variable iterator, uh, points to the current entry and it provides a remove, me remove method so I can remove that entry from there. So let's just run that again and uh, you see uh, this worked. 
So now we have the original array, we remove it, and we get 1, 3, 4, and 2, 0, 1, which hopefully now is correct. Let's just double check that. 1, 3, 4, 2, 0, 1. Uh, so that's the right answer. Uh, so uh, this is a, a subtle thing that you have to remember, uh, but uh, yeah, it's true. So when you're iterating over a list, uh, don't try to you know remove from that global variable from the, the list. Don't try to either add or remove stuff from it. Things will go wrong. Uh, it's a bad thing. So instead, use uh, I'm gonna get rid of that to make it more clear. Use the iterator if you need to modify or or well if you need to remove items from the list.